Saratoga was designed to get imagery from the satellite to the ground as quickly as possible. It runs really quickly. When we talk about the internet, we often talk about the information superhighway. And that's a nice metaphor because it gives you the idea of cars and cars braking because there are other cars in front of them and they're sharing the road. Um, and that's what normal internet protocols like the Transmission Control Protocol, TCP, do. If they see that the roads are congested, they go very slowly. Now, by contrast, Saratoga is kind of like a Japanese bullet train. It's built for speed to get from A to B as quickly as possible, non-stop. So it downloads data really, really quickly. And we built it to be scalable because we wanted it to be able to handle any size file. Because with the effects of Moore's law, the camera capabilities, the onboard computing capabilities are scaling upwards really quickly. And we didn't want to hit any kind of limit. So we built this very scalable protocol. And this attracted the attention of networkers working for the astronomy community to build what they call very long baseline interferometers, VLBIs. One example of this is the Square Kilometre Array which is an absolutely massive planned uh, phased array network that will be spread out over an entire continent, over thousands of kilometres. It's called the Square Kilometre Array because the actual sensor area of the uh, sensors is one square kilometre, but these sensors are distributed very widely to give you a very large view of the sky. And all these sensors have to be backhauled via optical fibre with massive data requirements at very, very high speeds. The Saratoga protocol that we developed for taking imagery from the satellite to ground turns out to be very useful for transferring imagery of the sky across the ground as well. So we're going to be doing some tests on that later this year. It's pretty exciting to see a protocol developed here at Surrey have real-world applications, uh, not just for transferring remote sensing imagery that's useful in the aftermath of disasters, but also for good scientific applications like astronomy. It's an exciting time.